All right, y'all, we got all our potatoes cut into quarters and placed into our pan here. Now I'm coming in with my frozen peas. Ooh, yeah. Look at this delicious green vegetable dinner. It's gonna be so healthy. I just used a Kroger brand, nothing special. Okay, and now I've got my cubed ham. I love ham. You can use, you know, chicken or beef in this if you want, but this ham is my favorite. There was a song about ham when I was a kid. Uh, I don't know if people know it, but I think the guy's name is Dan Quayle. He also did uh, the song for Otis and Milo and Otis. But he did this song goes, I had ham, I had ham, I had ham again. And it's about ham leftovers. Is this Dan Quayle, like the vice president who put Oh, like maybe I've got his name wrong. Maybe I got his name wrong. <laughs> I might have his name wrong. What do you think, Marty? More ham or is that good? I got one more thing of ham. Uh, it looks pretty good, I know. It looks pretty good to me, but you know what? I mean, we'll just do a little sprinkle around that. We'll just air on the side of more ham. More ham. Thanks to Dan Quayle. Dan Crow. <laughs> I think Dan Crow was his name. Oh my goodness. That is. Poor Dan Crow. I'm gonna look it up. I'll come back and tell you guys. But it's Dan Crow, and then his other song was Gonna Take a Walk Outside Today. Anyway, sorry guys. Okay, we got some 2% milk here. A little milk in here. I'm probably gonna put like a cup in, I think. All right, that's good. Let's see if that's good. And then I've got some chicken broth. I don't know. I thought this goes with ham. They don't make ham broth, do they? <laughs> I don't think so. Well, 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 I don't know. Well, I don't know. Maybe. Ham bone broth. All right, I'm going to put like a couple cups in here. I think that's good. I don't want too much liquid. This was, all right, this was probably, what do you think? A cup, cup and, maybe yeah. a cup and a half. And then this one was probably like a cup as well. Okay. All right. I won't argue with that. Measure from the heart. Now I'm coming in with one of my favorite ingredients, cheese. Monterey Jack cheese. Of course, you can use any kind you like, but I like Monterey Jack. Why do they call it that, Marty? It's from a Monterey Bay in California. I'll go with whatever you want to go with on that one. Oh my gosh, you know what? When I made that dish and someone said, I was like, oh, the best way to do it is with your hand because you can articulate with your hand. This girl said that's not how you use the word articulate, but I, oh. I think it is because I looked it up and it's joints and functioning together, bones functioning together from the joint. Yeah. And you can articulate it, like you can move all these little parts. So anyway, um, that girl, I don't know what your name is right now off the top of my head, but you can articulate your hand. You can. You can. I remember that video because in my mind I was going, it's a good use of articulation. Oh my goodness, thank you. It's because I used to take dance classes and they'd be like, now articulate this. <laughs> you can't see me dancing, but I was dancing with more of my body than just my hands, but you can dance with your hands too. All right, that's it. So simple. Oh no. <gasps> oh no, that wasn't it. Oh, okay. I'm going to put a little bit of pepper on this. Man, I meant to, you know what? It's all right. It is all right. Well, we're gonna mix the cheese in there, so it'll get it'll get down to everything. Oh darn it! All right, a little bit of garlic. You know what? I didn't have. There we go. All right, you can use fresh if you like. I love garlic. Use whatever you want. Measure from the heart, and a little bit of onion powder. You can put onions in this if you want. Not me. All right. Perfect. So good. All right, y'all. I'm gonna put this in the oven, I don't know, for about 40 minutes to 400 degrees. We'll see when those taters are done. See you then. All righty, y'all. Okay, we have to cook this about an hour total. So keep that in mind, keep checking on it. But look how beautiful this looks with our peas, our ham, those potatoes underneath. Ooh, and it smells fantastic. All right, now what we're gonna do now is we're gonna get this mixed up with this milk, this broth, but this should have made those potatoes real creamy. I can tell they are just perfect in here. Ooh, yeah. This is sort of like your own version of like, 
hamburger helper, except no noodles, no hamburger, but it's creamy, you know, kind of reminds me of that easy one pan meal for dinner. So delicious. Oh, um, Marty, doesn't that look good? It looks and smells delicious. It smells fantastic. And you can just salt and pepper this or whatever you want to taste individually, but this is going to be real good. Okay. I can't wait. Here we go. I got my plate. Give myself a nice scoop here. All that cheese, the potatoes, the peas. Make sure I got some ham. Oh no, Marty. Now it seems like we could have had even more ham. <laughs> Don't skimp on the ham, y'all. I led you astray. All right, here we go. Look how delicious this looks. All right, I'm gonna cut. see that? Oh, perfect potato. Perfectly soft, perfectly cooked. All right, we got our potatoes. Let me get some, oh, I lost it. Get some ham and cheese on here and the peas. Oh, y'all, this is gonna be tape. Mm. Oh, it's really good. Mmm, mmm. This is so good, y'all. You gotta try this.